when we're dealing with data, we have to determine if it's categorical or quantitative. That'll help us determine how to display it and how to analyze it. Now, categorical data is typically described with like words or anything that's used as an identifier overall. So again, words, it's going to be different types of categories or qualitative data overall, identifiers as well. With quantitative, quantitative is going to act as a typical numerical measurement. Okay, there's going to be some greater than or less than, some type of way to find like maybe the mean or the average. You cannot find the mean or average for categorical data. So if you're ever unsure, you can ask yourself, can I find the average for this data? And if you can, it's probably quantitative. And if you can't, it's probably categorical is what's going to happen overall. Now, quantitative data, as I mentioned, is numerical. And it's actually divided up into two different parts. You have what's called quantitative discrete and quantitative continuous. So as a subcategory of quantitative, you have discrete versus continuous. Discrete is finite. It's countable. The number of classes you are taking, the number of computers you own. Continuous is considered infinite, meaning that there's a range, like your height. Me, I'm six foot five, but in reality, I'm probably six foot 4.8327 dot 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 inches. So in that case, we cut it off naturally, but it is considered continuous quantitative data. So again, for continuous examples like height, weight, distance, time, but do be careful because it all depends on the context. Time to get to work would be considered continuous quantitative. The number of times you went to work would be considered discrete quantitative. So to start this, you might be asked questions to identify what type of variable is the following. And so for each one of these, if you're going to deal with, let's say, gender, gender would be considered categorical. Concentration of liver enzymes. Well, concentration, that's actually quantitative. And this is dealing with some type of um, amount or fluid. So it would be considered quantitative, specifically quantitative continuous. Height is also, like I mentioned before, quantitative continuous. And favorite food would just be categorical. If they want to take it one step further, after identifying the variable, you may be asked, what is the appropriate display? And so for categorical displays, the two most common ones you may encounter are pie charts and bar charts. For quantitative, stem plots, histograms, and dot plots are three examples of how to display quantitative data. So if we go back to this original question, they could easily ask something like, how would I display gender? And that's a two-part question because you first would have to figure out what type of variable it is, and then you'd have to figure out which visual display is going to go with it. And so that's how you'll be dealing initially with categorical versus quantitative variables.